Hello, and thanks for taking an interest in the Akala network. Today, I'll be discussing a liquid staked dot, better known as LDOT. I'll explain what it is, how it works, the risks, and what you can use it for. Traditionally, when you stake DOT on the Polkadot relay chain, that DOT is earning rewards but is otherwise unusable. If you want to earn additional yield on those DOT, there's no way for you to put those DOT into a DeFi app and continue to earn staking rewards. If you need liquidity, you're forced to unstake and sell your DOT. So while staking is great in that it gives you the opportunity to earn rewards, you sacrifice some flexibility when it comes to what you can actually do with your DOT. Beyond this, staking on the relay chain requires an 80 DOT minimum to earn rewards, which could be a challenge for some users. There's also a 28 day unstaking period, which could be seen as a very long time to not have access to your funds. Lastly, because staking on the relay chain allows you to select your own validator, you have to take time to evaluate which validator is best for you and all the research that goes along with it. Overall, staking on the relay chain requires the user to deal with some restrictions on their DOT and to do the homework to select a validator. Centralized exchanges, on the other hand, provide users with a little more flexibility by having much lower staking requirements, allowing users to instantly unstake, and doing the work to pick a validator for you. While these conveniences enhance the user experience to an extent, you still don't have full flexibility when it comes to your DOT. They're still locked away where the only thing you can really do is earn staking rewards. However, to provide DOT stakers simplicity and maximum flexibility, the Akala team have created a liquid staking product called LDOT. LDOT is a token that functions as a receipt for staked DOT. So when you stake through Akala, you give Akala your DOT, which are then staked for you on the relay chain. In return, Akala gives you LDOT tokens, which represent your stake DOT balance and staking rewards. Keep in mind, however, while Akala uses a vetted, high-performing validator set for its LDOT operations, there is still slash risk associated with LDOT, just like there is with staking DOT directly. This methodology of LDOT addresses and improves upon all the shortcomings of the other methods of DOT staking, with the convenience of one-click staking and not having to do any research on validators as well as it, of course, being completely decentralized and trustless, with no reliance on a centralized party to pay you rewards. You're also able to maintain liquidity while staked, enabling you to pursue additional ways to earn yield on top of your staked DOT. Finally, with no minimum staking requirement and no unbonding period, you have complete flexibility and freedom to access your funds when you wish, and are not beholden to any restrictions on your assets. Also keep in mind, you don't always necessarily have to stake your DOT to get LDOT. Because LDOT is its own token, you're able to swap for it just like any other token on the Akala DEX. Said another way, buying LDOT is effectively buying staked DOT. Now how do you actually earn rewards? LDOT is very unique compared to other staking products, as simply holding LDOT will allow you to earn DOT rewards and is self-compounding. As time goes on, each LDOT will be worth more DOT, and to redeem your rewards, you would simply unstake or swap your LDOT for DOT on the open market, depending on which is more favorable. Here's an example. Let's say you've staked 100 DOT. Now it's important to know that the dot to L dot ratio is not one to one. It's determined by an algorithm in the protocol. So let's say you stake 100 dot and you receive 1000 L dot. Now the 1000 L dot figure won't change as time goes on. However, the amount of dot it's worth definitely will. So today, that 1000 L dot we have is worth what we put in or the initial 100 dot. However, six months from now, at a hypothetical 15% APR, that same 1000 L dot would be worth 107.5 dot, give or take, or 115 dot after 12 months. 
Now importantly, no matter where your LDOT is, whether it's sitting in your portfolio, in a liquidity pool, or used as collateral to mint AUSD, you'll be earning DOT staking rewards. Let me repeat that. No matter where your LDOT is, if it's in your account, you're earning DOT staking rewards. Now let's run through some examples on how we can actually use our LDOT. First, let's say you've staked some DOT and things are going well, but now you need some funds. Whether it be you want to buy more of a certain cryptocurrency, you want to mint or buy an NFT, or even if an unexpected life expense came up. If you're a believer in Polkadot, you're stuck in this dilemma where you want to keep holding DOT, but you also need the funds that are locked while staking the very same DOT. For example, Bob has a hundred DOT worth roughly $1,000, which he liquid stakes with a Kala and then receives a thousand L DOT also worth $1,000. He can then borrow against that L DOT, putting it in a vault and minting, say, $300 of AUSD. Bob can do whatever he likes with his AUSD, however the L dot he has locked in the vault is still generating dot staking rewards. Alternatively, let's say there's a trading pool offering an attractive APY for LPs providing liquid dot liquidity. You can contribute your L dot tokens to the pool, just like you would any other pair, and earn the pool APY in addition to your dot staking rewards. An example could be providing AUSD and LDOT liquidity to a trading pool. By providing this liquidity, Bob can continue to earn DOT staking rewards through his LDOT tokens, plus the trading yield generated by the pool and any incentives being given like ACA rewards. A final example could be a DeFi app, such as Akala, offering Bob the opportunity to stake his LDOT tokens to earn additional yield. Remember, by holding LDOT, Bob is already earning DOT staking rewards, and he can put these LDOT tokens wherever he pleases. So, the DeFi app attempts to attract Bob to their platform by offering their tokens to Bob if he locks his LDOT tokens with them. When Bob does this, he receives his DOT staking rewards and his tokens from the DeFi app, for example, ACA from Akala. To sum up, LDOT allows you to main liquidity while staking your DOT tokens and has the added convenience of allowing you to instantly unstake those very same tokens, foregoing the typical 28 days unbonding period. Liquid staking also has no minimum staking requirement and makes the entire staking process more streamlined by Akala both vetting and selecting the validator on your behalf, cutting out the frustrating and long process of doing homework yourself. This concludes our discussion about liquid staking on Akala. If you have any questions, feel free to browse our Discord or ask any of our team members or ambassadors. Thanks.